What is up friends, it has been far too long since I've jumped into some Wes Anderson filmmaking and so today I'm going to be checking out The Royal Tenenbaums which I put a poll that had a couple of different Wes Anderson films on it on Patreon and this one won and so I'm expecting some great things because all of his films that I've watched so far have had a certain level of magic to them. Obviously the last one I think being The Grand Budapest Hotel which is one of my favorites that I've watched for the entire channel up to this point and I think it's been almost a year since I've seen that so it's about time I hopped into another hopefully fantastic entry in his filmography obviously a highlight with his films is always the set design production design and the colors and all of that and the soundtracks as well because Grand Budapest Hotel had a flawless soundtrack but I'm looking forward to seeing which of his regular cast members pop up in this one because usually there's quite a bit of crossover between his different movies but as far as the plot goes or anything like that I don't know anything about it and so I'm excited to get into it and discover the storyline but hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for this if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the videos out a lot and of course full-length reactions are always available on patreon link for that in the description below but without further ado let's get into the royal Tenenbaums are you getting divorced it doesn't look good was it our fault no, maybe uh, I wasn't as true to her as I could have been. Well, she says- Let's just drop it. I just want to make my entire house one big mural on every wall from frames from his movies. They're so perfect. The gentleman in the blue cardigan, please. Chaz Tenenbaum had since elementary school taken most of his meals in his room, standing up at his desk with a cup of coffee to save time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man's been working too hard for too long. Margot Tenenbaum was adopted at age two. Her father had always noted this when introducing her. This is my adopted daughter, Margot Tenenbaum. Jeez, bro, this is just as good as the Grand Budapest so far as colors and everything goes. Four years later, Margot disappeared alone for two weeks and came back with half a finger missing. alteration of glove. I know I know who's narrating right now, but I can't put my finger on it just yet. Royal took him on outings around the city. <laughs> These invitations were never extended to anyone else. Love that. That's the exact same camera movie does in the Grand Budapest. We know who the favorite child is. The three Tenenbaum children performed Margot's first play on the night of her 11th birthday. They had agreed to invite their father to the party. It didn't seem believable to me. <laughs> what? He tells his kids that are so young that? That's ridiculous. Did you at least think the characters were well developed? What characters? There's a bunch of little kids. Good night, everyone. Don't be mad at me. That's just one man's opinion. <laughs> Man is a harsh critic. I can't believe it. I guess I didn't see the full play, so I can't judge. Virtually all memory of the brilliance of the young Tenenbaums had been erased by two decades of betrayal. Go, Mordecai! I was wondering if we'd ever get the full force of this song. Such a classic. It was a great opening to introduce us to everybody. The crickets and the rust beetles scuttled among the nettles of the sage thicket, and they rode on in the friskulating dusk light. Eli was an assistant professor of English literature at Brooks College. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a crowd. That's impressive. Both him and Bill Murray are so perfect with their mannerisms for Wes Anderson's style. Third examination of Dudley Heinsbergen. All right, Dudley. Make yours like mine. Raleigh's next book was on the subject of a condition he called Heinsbergen syndrome. Sounds like something Walter White had. Never heard of it before, though. Good. Very good. How interesting. Dudley suffers from a rare disorder combining symptoms of amnesia, dyslexia, and colorblindness. <laughs> Whoa, man. Just the worst of everything. Thank goodness Wes Anderson isn't colorblind, though. What kind of training exercise? A rare occurrence where we get some handheld though. Uzi, Fitting for this go. scene. <laughs> Man's been through one too many of these. Four minutes, 48 seconds. We're all dead. Burned to a crisp. Jeez, I don't know how much faster they could be. Dude doesn't mince words though, getting them fully prepared. Ethylene became an archaeologist. Probably be advantageous for your marital status to be legally established as single. What do you mean? Will you marry me? <laughs> 
I love that guy in the back perked up. These frames are just exquisite. The black man asked her to be his wife. What did Ethel say? She thinks about it. I've had my share of infidelities, but she's still my wife cool that he's breaking this up into chapters it's flowing very much like a storybook or a novel or something like that so it's fitting that he's doing that you don't love me anymore do you i do kind of can't explain it right now i'll call you okay i hope this isn't the last we see of bill murray's character i always get excited to see him i guess in grand budapest he was kind of just a small cameo anyway so it could just be here at the beginning hello Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Why is he just chilling in the closet like that? I love that he puts on the hat, even though it does not match the rest of him right now. I want my family back. Well, you can't have it. I'm sorry for you, but it's too late. I'm dying. I'll be dead in six weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I love that he hasn't said anything else. It's just working through her mind. He's gonna have to do a lot of healing with the relationships. Doesn't seem like too many people like him. Wait a second. Okay, uh, listen, I'm not dying, but I need some time. I want us, I want us to, to, to... What's wrong with you? Dude, that is so messed up. That's like a classic Frank Reynolds move. He's not getting anywhere good by doing that. The ship's porter arranged for Richie to disembark at Halifax and transfer to a third-class stateroom on board the Queen Helena. His trunks would not arrive for another 11 days. Oh, is the narrator Alec Baldwin? I think it might be. It took me way too long to get that. We got the soundtrack and the slow motion hair blowing in the wind. You know that's real love. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. What's so funny? Well, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> Man's speechless. Been waiting for this moment forever. I've missed the hell out of you, my darlings. Well, you know that though, don't you? I hear you're dying. So they tell me. Get straight to the point, no pleasantries. To be fair, he did a lot of damage in their youth. Oh, how long are you gonna last? Not long. A month, a year. Uh, the three of you and your mother are all I've got, and I love you more than anything. Oh, Chaz, let me finish here. Man's not hiding his feelings at all, seems to be the most outspoken. Um, I'll be right back. Chaz, can I see my grandsons? <sighs> Don't give me that guff. I think we'll pass. Shoot, man, that's harsh. Can't say I fully blame him, but I have a feeling he'll work up to letting him meet him by the end of this. Hold the cab, will you, driver? Royal, this is Henry Sherman. Hey, lay it on me, man. How do you do? Not too well. I'm dying. <laughs> what a great cut. So abrupt. Dude's telling everybody that'll listen. Man, I know I'm not as accomplished as some of the men you've been involved with. I have no interest in Franklin Benedict or Doug Cartwright. I never did. And as far as what... <laughs> You fell, did not expect that. Gotta be careful where you're walking. Uh, anyway, let me know when you make up your mind. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very nervous. I haven't slept with a man in 18 years. That music's coming in, I feel like something's about to happen. Sparks are flying. They seem to be pretty happy together. Definitely a more gentle kiss than I'm used to seeing in films, though. I'm Royal. Have you heard of me? I'm very sorry for your loss. Your mother was a terribly attractive woman. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that's the usual thing to say to kids who lost their mom. Finally meeting each other, though. I don't know if Chaz is going to be very happy that it was done this way. How's your daddy? Fine. How often has he got you working out? 16 times a week. Do me a favor. Tell him you want to meet me. What we just met. No, we didn't. Got him keeping secrets already. That's an insane regimen, though, 16 times a week. You say? Well, I bet Mom would have wanted us to meet him before he died, don't you think? Oh, the cuts are so good at adding some comedic effect. That was brilliant, though, layering the dialogue between scenes. Strange day out here at Windswept Fields. I kind of disappeared after that, didn't I? But I understood. Still got that little BB in your hands, has he? <laughs> 
Oh man, that's kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if this was the intention though, but I like that he has the brown coat, Luke Wilson's character, because it matches his dad and he's kind of more buddy-buddy with him right now. But Chaz has the very different red because he's not on his side. How is it possible for Mr. Tannenbaum to withdraw these funds without your written authorization? Because I started the corporation when I was a minor. He also stole bonds out of my safety deposit box when I was 14. <laughs> Oh gosh, that is terrible. How could you do that? No wonder he has so much against him. My Lord, look at you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great getting them in a scene together, especially in a Wes Anderson movie. I did find it odd when you said you were in love with her. She's married, you know, and she's your sister. Adopted. <laughs> Interesting time to cut right there. His look said a thousand words. Love that he just had a massive bull on his wall with the rope. Get out. Let me just collect my thing. Oh! Dad! Oh. Mom! Grab me an Emmy tall, will you, son? Are you okay? Oh, jeez, man. This is tough. He is in bad shape. Is he doing this for real, or is he just trying to get Chaz's attention with this? His condition is stable. Can we move him? Absolutely not. Is he gonna be all right? That depends. Is he a fighter? Yeah. Then that's the best we've got. Well, it's not looking too good. Those six weeks might have been an optimistic prediction for his lifespan. So gorgeous, dude. Man, even inside the tent's better. I can't believe how good these frames are. My dream house would just be designed by his set designer. Well, I don't know what you think you're gonna get out of this. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. I don't wanna hurt you. I know what you and the boys have been through. You're my brother, and I love you. Stop saying that! Is he just too afraid to let people into his heart after what happened? What's that jackass doing? I know you, asshole! <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. I thought he was just gonna try and book it out of there. Caught red-handed. He's done it for years. He used to send me his grades in college. It's ridiculous. So glad he's back in the mix. Hoping that'd be the case. Are you ever coming home? Maybe not. You're joking. No. No, I want to die. <laughs> so matter of fact, geez. I mean, his heart is being broken. Haven't really seen too much of him, but I feel bad for him in this case. I don't like the way you're treating Raleigh. You don't even know him. Well, I've met him, and I don't think he deserves to Stay kind of... out of it. You're too timing him with that bloodsucker Eli Cash. Oh, got her attention with that line. He knows more than she thought. I wonder if she's kind of doing this just because of the example he set for her, though. Richard, I know you're terribly close to Margot. May I confide in you? Okay. I believe she's having an affair. I'm utterly devastated. I don't know where else to turn. So awkward because not only does he know that she is having an affair, but he also wants to be having an affair with her. Oh. Who do you think it might be? I don't know at the moment. Let's look at the actual. <laughs> that turn was fantastic. Maybe he didn't realize he was with her. That would be a wild turn of events. What do you need? I see you got him uh, crunching numbers for you. Please don't come in this room. Chaz has those boys cooped up like a pair of jackrabbits, Ethel. So clever the way we change scenes. There's never really any downtime. As soon as a scene crescendos, we immediately go into the next scene, just carrying over the feeling. <laughs> oh, nice, awesome shots right here. He still has a bit of fun left in him. Oh man, <laughs> those actually look like legit cars in that. Not any sort of trick of green screen or something. Bravery. <laughs> That's like the exact same frame from the beginning, right? Just with different kids this time. That was kind of a fun callback. You stay away from my children. I haven't been in here for years. Hey, are you listening to me? Yes, I am! <laughs> Matched his energy. Such a perfect set for this scene to happen. So claustrophobic. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I 
man, so many parts of this film have things happen that I did not see coming. Hello, I'm calling in regards to Dr. McClure. The name of the patient is Royal Tenenbaum. Oh, doing some digging. Is he gonna find out that he's not really sick? Faking the whole thing just to get her back? <laughs> I'm a jizzy peony. Oh, that was great. I love that little insert. Kind of reminded me of Adrian Brody walking down the hall in Grand Budapest. I know what stomach cancer looks like. You don't eat three cheeseburgers a day with french fries if you got it. The pain is excruciating. How would you know? My wife had it. Oh, shoot. You cannot argue against him now. There is no Kobe General. He closed in 1974. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that was great. Chaz was right all along to be distrusting. The last six days have been the best six days of probably my whole life. Immediately after making this statement, Royal realized that it was true. Oh, that was a great insert with the narration. Dude could have had all this and probably more if he just came to his senses earlier. Dude's living in the wild, wild west. Just nobody else is living there. I'm not in love with you anymore. Okay, I'm not in love with you either. Yes, I know. You're in love with Richie, which is sick and gross. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Telling it like it is. I'm surprised he changed his mind, though. You never gave me the time of day till I started getting good reviews. Your reviews aren't that good. Dude, this camera move is insane. Not only was it a long take, but there was so much motion that you had to get perfect. You want to play some word games or do some experiments on me or anything? No. That was this his Joker moment right here. Not used to such cool and dreary colors from Wes. Fits the moment though. Oh my gosh, he really just went for it right then, right there. That's terrible. Dang, editing's on fire as usual. Not the turn that I expected the story to take. How are you feeling? Fine, thanks. Why'd you try to kill yourself? Don't press him right now. He is always straight to the point. I'm glad that he's alive, but I also am not sure if this is the reason for it, but I like how in most of the scenes when they're as a group, Margot is standing way in the back. Could just be because she's adopted, but also could just be referencing how she feels like an outcast maybe in the family. Oh, he's actually going to be able to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. This is going to be a good scene. No distractions. What are you doing in my tent? Just listening to some records. Aren't you supposed to be in the hospital? Check myself out. It's going to be fantastic having this scene take place in here as well. Just tossing it back to the vibe when they were kids. I heard about Eli. Poor Eli. Anyway, we mostly just talked about you. You did? I have to tell you something. I love you. I love you too. Oh, I can't believe we arrived here after everything. Love the colors of this though. I can't stop thinking about you. I went away for a year and it only got worse and I don't know what to do. Let's lie down for a minute. At least we haven't quite hit Game of Thrones level since they adopted her, but definitely not your typical film relationship. I think we're just gonna have to be secretly in love with each other and leave it at that, Richie. Not sure how many more chapters there are, but that was a good one. At least they got some sort of closure for that. Margot Tenenbaum? Well, since when? Since always. Well, what does she feel about that? I think she feels confused. It's probably illegal. I don't think so. We're not related by blood. That's true. Wes Anderson was ahead of the internet game here, it looks like. I wish I could tell you what to do, but I just can't. Well, that's okay. No, it's not. You still consider me your father? Sure I do. It's gotta mean a lot to him, but it definitely takes a big man to admit he can't help. So he's definitely made some progress with his maturity. I don't blame you, by the way. But she's a great looking girl and smart as a whip. Mordecai. 
Whoa, that thing is still going strong. Didn't know they lived for that long. We want to take you to get some help. Is it just you guys? Would you excuse us, please? Not sure he's gonna be super receptive to this, but it's definitely worth a try. I wish you'd done this more when I was a kid. But you didn't have a drug problem then. Anyway, I'm glad you're here now. I recognize that I have a problem. Hey, there you go. Couldn't have gone better for him. Very wholesome moment. There he goes. What? There he goes. Oh my gosh, dude, are you kidding me? Just played him. It did seem a little too good to be true. I love how casually he pointed that out, though. I got something for you, Ethel. Uh, actually, I made it. It's a divorce. From you? Yes. Yeah. This is Sanchez. He's a notary public. Hello, sir. You just sign here. Wow, getting it done right there. Completely changed for the better, I think. It's the right move for everybody at this point. Are we divorced? Almost. Sanchez just has to file a paper. Congratulations, both of you. I didn't think so much of him at first, but now I get it. He's everything that I'm not. Quite the shock. Dude has speed ran a maturity course. I guess it took quite a few years to get there, so it's not quite a speed run. I have a feeling I know who that's gonna be. <laughs> yep, and man, he has got his face painted and everything. What? Eli just crashed his car into the front of the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she is way too calm about that. Camera work was brilliant. What in the world is he doing? They're okay, Chaz. It's okay. They're safe. Dad, they ran over Buckley. What? I think we lost Buckley. Dad, he pulled him out of the way. He did? Oh man, he's finally going to like him at this point, I think. That is a pretty big thing to do. That'd be awful if we lost the dog. Eli! Oh no, not him caught in the crossfire. Love the music. Great little chase. <laughs> nice. I love all these little inserts. It's the slowest paced chase ever. Chaz? Gosh, not the ideal wedding day, that's for sure. Hopefully his eye's okay. Did I hit the dog? Yeah. Is he dead? Yeah, I need help. <laughs> you don't say, man. A little too late, though, for Buckley. That sucks. I've always been considered an asshole, but I'd really feel blue if I didn't think you were going to forgive me. I don't think you're an asshole. I just think you're kind of a son of a... Well, I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant writing. That's so good. Done such an amazing job setting up all the different family dynamics and whatnot. Lost control of the vehicle, smashed into the house, and killed that poor dog. You're Eli Cash. Yes, indeed I am. I love your work. Oh, how sweet of you to say. <laughs> oh, man. Very good time for him to be recognized. That might help him out a bit. Can you see out of it? Not really. Uh-huh. Minor corneal damage. Page me if it spreads to the other eye. He got the worst of it. That sucks. If he hadn't already had it rough enough already. You boys come up here with me. But Buckley's still under there. I know. But there's nothing we can do for him at the moment. This is such an incredibly directed shot. My goodness. Insane preparation for this. Margot's new play was produced at the Cavendish Theater. This is my adopted daughter, Elaine Levinson. <laughs> It ran for just under two weeks and received mixed reviews. Seems like the most important review was a positive one right there, though. Good for her. Royal had a heart attack at the age of 68. Chaz rode with him in the ambulance and was the only witness to his father's death. Oh man, that's sad, but beautiful moment between those two. They finally made up with each other before the end. These are some great characters. Uh, such brilliant costuming to change them from red the whole film to black here in the time of mourning. What a great shot seeing them all there. For the amount of characters they had in this movie, Wes Anderson did a brilliant job covering them all, making them all feel unique. Uh, 
Oh, man, what a perfect last shot. That was awesome. Oh, wow, Owen Wilson also wrote the film with him. I'm very impressed. Collaborating together in more than one way. That was so good. I loved it just as I hoped I would. There's such a distinct warmth that all of Wes Anderson's films have that just feels so comforting while you're watching it. From the eccentric and charming characters to the colors and just the whole storyline. They're obviously dealing with with mature themes but it still has like a certain childlike wonder to it or looking at those things from a more childlike perspective I guess you could say more innocent perspective which is a style I don't really think I've seen anybody else do with their films which is of course why Wes Anderson stands out so much as a director but all the acting was perfect I loved seeing some familiar faces like Owen Wilson and Bill Murray they were fantastic but all the new faces in this one really nailed it as well whether it was Gwyneth Paltrow or Ben Stiller and I will say for a little bit of the film I was kind of wondering where it was going and wasn't necessarily too invested in the story but kind of when the second half came around I think by the point where he was kicked out after they found out he was faking the sickness and everything really started to suck me in and then everything kind of came together all the build up in the first half and all the character development and so looking at it from the whole picture it was a very very well done film but just like Grand Budapest this definitely makes me want to immediately watch some more Wes Anderson and I'm definitely not going to go another whole year before I watch the next one. Well, another winner for Wes Anderson here for me with the Royal Tenenbaums. And I saw that this was one of his earliest films, the earliest one of his that I've seen so far. I know there's one or two that I still have to see that were released before this one, but just so impressive how talented he was when he was still early on in his career. And it's only gotten better and better, at least in my opinion, because the Grand Budapest Hotel is like the gold standard in so many categories in filmmaking and so it's really cool to see kind of things that he's taken from these early films and applied into his later work whether it's camera moves or certain stylistic choices all those things or just seeing different things that he would experiment early on that I haven't seen in the other films so just really love his style and technique overall just so unique in a field where it's very difficult sometimes to stand out as a director at least so distinctly in his case where you can instantly recognize when you're watching one of his films but I'm really looking forward to hearing all of your thoughts on the film and specifically which Wes Anderson film you'd like to see me check out next there are quite a few ones that I know people love that I haven't seen specifically ones like Fantastic Mr. Fox Isle of Dogs Bottle Rocket Rushmore so many good ones to choose from and so definitely we can have some good ones to visit here coming up soon but if you enjoyed watching along with me for this video definitely consider leaving a thumbs up it really helps the video out and of course full-length reactions are available on patreon link for that in the description below but until the next one look forward to seeing you all later peace